everybody, it's your boy Dobe Zamora back with another video. Uh, today we're going to be installing some mirror caps. So mine are like the black uh, rough finish I'm painted. And then I bought some painted ones, OEM painted ones on eBay. I got these for like 35 bucks. Um, they're like takeoffs off a truck. So... We're going to be taking these off, putting on new ones. I've never taken them off, but watched a few videos and they're just like clips, so you should be able to pull them off. So I'm going to try to pull it off right now and then see if I can put the new one on. Okay, so I just got the passenger side on. Um, I think I broke like a clip on the other ones. That one right there snapped off. But... These are going in the trash anyway, so that good one's on. It's held in place, so now I'm gonna do the driver side. I'm gonna show you guys how I did that. So I'm gonna use the screwdriver again, try to go along cap. Just pop it off. You don't wanna pull it too hard because you can break the clips, which I already did on the first one. You might not want to do that. Okay, so basically, um, yeah, the same one broke again. It's the only one that broke. So once you pop the clips on it by pulling towards you, you're gonna lift it up. Now it's gonna release it because these little ones are holding it at the top. So once it's off, I mean, take it off. You're gonna slap on the new one and it should be good. All right, so now that we got our new cap, we're basically gonna Put it in like at an angle kind of so that these top clips can grab on. So we're gonna kind of like angle it. And you can hear them fall into place. And then you're just gonna push the bottom in. Just be careful, try not to break the clip on it. Alright, so that's on there already. Just make sure you give it a tug and make sure it doesn't come off. There's the driver's side and the passenger side. Today I'm going to be installing the Alpine 209 GM in my truck. It's a 9 inch Alpine restyle stereo. Um, this one right here. So basically you gotta keep all your stock features and it keeps Apple CarPlay as well. So there was an older version, a 10 inch, a 10 inch screen that you could get, but that one didn't keep Apple CarPlay and I wanted to keep my Apple CarPlay, so I bought this one. This one came up for sale. The guy had it on his truck for like nine months, less than a year, and he decided to sell his truck, so he put the stereo up for sale and I got it for a pretty good deal, so we're going to try to install that today. And this is what I have stock, it's a 7 inch one. And then this is what we're putting in. So I'm going to try to do that for you guys, I'll show you guys everything along the process. It should be plug and play, no splicing wires or nothing, so we'll see how it goes. Alright guys, so to start off we're going to take off this panel here. The dash panel, we're gonna pull that off. Um, I usually pop it off with the screwdriver from underneath. Just be careful because it does have tabs. So once you pop it off, you can just get the rest of it with your hand and just pull it off. All right, so. got that off now next we're gonna take off 
We're going to take the stereo off, the actual screen. And that's going to be four of these four of these bolts, one in each corner, and then the whole thing's going to come off. We're going to unplug everything from the back. So I'm going to go grab some tools and take that off. All right, guys, so this is what it looks like once you take the screen off. These are all plugged into the screen and, like, the AC and stuff. So next, we're going to have to take this radio module off. So we're going to unplug everything, push this tab up, and then it should be able to pull out. So that's out already. There's no bolt or anything holding this, just that tab up top. You push up and then it pulls out. So I'm going to try to put in the new one and plug everything in. Hopefully everything connects. Alright guys, so I plugged everything in. Um, depending on what truck you have, you're going to have some leftover uh, plugs that don't go to anything. Like I have these three here. And then the, the two that went to... The stereo, uh, the original stereo, her radio, that blue one and the red one don't go to anything, at least on mine. Um, so yeah, I hooked everything up. I tried to start it already and everything turns on. So I'm just having uh, issues with the backup camera turning on. It's hooked up, but for some reason it's not working. Um, I heard about a few other people having problems with theirs not turning on either, so I'm not sure what's going on with that. I'm going to try to figure it out, but so I hit camera and it's just black. It should be turned on right there. Alright guys, so I got it working. I turned it on. Everything was good. Except like I told you guys, the camera still isn't uh, working. I'm gonna take it to an audio shop tomorrow just because I was running the L2CI because uh, you need it anytime you're gonna run a, a sound system with the stock stereo. So the L2CI is gonna have to be taken off and then uh, just hook up the amps and stuff to this stereo now since this one does have the outputs for a sound system. Um, I'll show you guys everything once it's all completely done with the without the L2CI. Um, and it should sound better than now because the L2CI is still hooked up to it. But, I mean, there it is. I have a USB with videos, so that's how we're playing videos right now. You have all your settings there, you can choose. Ni pobre, pero tengo lo que quiero y mis gustos siempre me los doy. Mucho le agradezco al viejo por sus consejos y por todo lo que me inculcó y mientras hay que.